Welcome back to SnowRunner, guys, and today we're going to be having a look at Red's Ranger. Now, this is a conversion from Mudrunner, and it has updated textures and a few other things that have been implemented to make it work better in SnowRunner. Now, this truck is obviously a more realistic more realistic take on modding than, you know, some of the other crazy monster truck mods out there. But it's really nice to see some genuinely realist, like, realism-based mods that, you know, not everybody is focusing on. But this has definitely been Red's focus, and I think... I think he did a really good job, like, right off the bat with the textures, you can see that they're way more developed than they were in Mudrunner, and I think, honestly, this is one of the mods that could be used in a campaign playthrough without making everything, you know, too overpowered and throwing off the balance of the game. So without any further ado, we're going to go ahead and take it, into the, in, take it into the garage, see what you can do to it in terms of customization, and then we're going to drive it, test it out, and see what it's like. So let's fire it up and drive it to the garage. Not bad. Let's actually have a look. Honestly, okay, so the interior's not too bad. I mean, it actually has some really cool textures on, like, the seat here. These things had, like, a, you know, single bench seat, so there really isn't much sophistication to speak of uh, when it comes to when it comes to the interior of one of these old Rangers. Now, let me actually take a look at the... Whoa, that's got some pickup to it. All right. Let's see. Is there anything it can load? Nope. Not right now, anyway. Now, it comes... Actually, that's interesting. It spawns in in four-wheel drive. Oh, dude! It, it gets a little bit of a slide going. That's awesome. That's legit. If you actually kick it into rear-wheel drive, it gets a little bit of a slide going. That's really cool. So, customization-wise. Now, we've got a 4.0 V6, and we have a 3.02 V8. So... I feel like the 302 V8 is going to make it a little bit uh, a little bit wild, but let's go ahead and put it in and see. So we have a Trail Tune gearbox and a Highway gearbox. I'm going to leave the Trail Tune in it right now. And then we have the standard suspension. We also have the lifted suspension. I'm going to go ahead and throw the lifted suspension on it because I want to see what we can do uh, in terms of bigger tires. Right now we have 36s, and then we can go to a ooh, we can go to a 36-inch Interco bogger. I am down for that. Yes, th I, I'm always down for a bogger on any of these rigs. Now, uh, actually, we only have one winch option. I was expecting to be able to put, like, an extended winch, but that's interesting. So, engageable. Let's go ahead and throw the engageable diff lock on this thing. And it, that, that, like, sends the camera way back out. That's very odd, and I'm not sure why it does that. But you do have the option of trunk repair supplies if you so choose. So, we're going to go ahead and throw them in there. And snorkel. Let's see. Tall mushroom, tall front facing. May as well. I mean, may as well throw it on there. It's going to make it better at traversing, you know, water anyway. Now, round beacon, small parking lights, round parking lights. Eh, I like the small parking lights. And wheels, default wheels. I mean, they're steelies with bead locks, and really, I don't want to change them. I, I think they have a really nice classic look to them. So, let's see. Ah, here we go. Here we go. Now, the colors for this truck are actually, wow, you have quite a few of them. A SnowRunner Pink Rangers. But let's see. We could go with like a whitish kind of gray. It's interesting. Like, I don't know if these two tones are just not working or if they're like, or if they just don't show up or if it's kind of like one of those things where they show up in the menu as a two tone, but they're not actually a two tone. I'm not sure. That might be something that's still in development, but I think I'm going to throw like maybe, I don't know, maybe a red, maybe an orange on this thing. I'm down with the red. I think the red looks good. So now we've got a V8 in this thing. And let's see what happens because we've thrown a bit, of, a bit of a lift on it. 36 inch, 36 inch boggers. For some reason, I can't talk today and I'm not sure why. But without any further ado, let's go ahead and get into it and see what it's like. Now this is with everything off. Absolutely everything off. Let's see if it'll drift. Um, yes. Well, whoa. <laughs> it sort of drifts. Let's throw the all -wheel, uh, the all-wheel drive on. And then, ooh, we're going to take it around the obstacle course. And I want to see how it does, not only in the mud, but sort of like over the whoops. Oh, God. Something upset it back there, and I'm not sure what. 
Come on. I like high. High isn't too fast. It's fast enough without being overly fast, which I really appreciate. Because that actually makes it functional. Like, if you wanted to use it in a campaign playthrough, having high range not be too crazy fast is actually, like, a really big advantage because you can use it out on the trails, you can use it in all sorts of different situations if it's not overbearingly fast. Now, let's see if... Oh, man. I'm going to see if I can keep it in... Eh, I'm not going to take it through there. Not yet. Whoop! Let's see if we can keep it in high over the pipes. It's actually really cool to watch the suspension work. Because it really does a good job. It's not as stiff as I expected it to be. I expected it to be overly stiff. And I'm really happy with... I'm really happy with the way it performs. That's not bad. I mean, if you look at that travel, that's not bad at all. Let's see how it is in the deeper snow. Because the snow does get a little bit deep back here. And forces a lot of trucks to slow down. She's not doing too bad. Like, I approve. That thing, like, this thing works. It goes. It works really well. And, ow. Low plus and... Oh, no! Oh, it can't. Okay, hang on. Repair and refuel. Ah, forward, please. Thank you. Appreciate that. So it will climb it, you just have to approach it from the right angle. But the nice thing is, once you actually do climb up the, uh, the, the lumber, the nice thing about that is the fact that this thing is, I mean, it's a short wheelbase rig-ish, short wheelbase-ish, so it doesn't have tr trouble with, like, high centering or anything like that. You do have to make sure that you approach these things from an angle, though, because if you don't, if you don't, you're in, you're in big trouble. The suspension works really well, though. It's it's really nice and flexible. And oh god, these sections you kind of have to you kind of have to end up like shimmying the vehicle around a little bit, though, because you can't approach it head on. Yeah, it does have a nice amount of flex. I've got to give him that. This thing has a good amount of flex for what it is. Let me see how it flexes out if I just approach it sideways. I mean, it's not bad. I know that's a very extreme example, but it's not bad. Now, since we've done a little bit of testing in the snow with this thing, I want to take it actually to the summer proving grounds and see what it's like there. So we're going to go back to the main menu, and of course, thankfully... Oh no! Oh no! It's crashed! No! Yep, completely crashed. That's fun. Will you fire back up? That's the question. Will SnowRunner file back... Uh, file? File? Fire back up? Let me just, like... I I'm like, am I gonna look through, like, a filing cabinet? Like, what? <laughs> file back... My brain is backwards right now, and I'm not sure why. I had this issue earlier, too, and, like, sometimes... Sometimes... I, I, I question my own my own sanity. I, I, I don't know why. You know, real talk, sometimes like things like that happen in my head and I'm like, do you know where your head was? Because I sure as hell did it. <laughs> All right, let's throw the ranger on, select map, summer proving grounds, and fingers crossed, it all works this time. All right, we're in. And where are we? Oh my god, where... More importantly, where's my ranger? Because it was right... There it is! Yes! And now, thankfully, we're good to go. Now, the reason why I wanted to come out here to Summer Proving Grounds is because they have a little bit of a rock crawling area. Like a bit of a rock crawl test area. So, real quick, we are going to swap back over to the 302. Keep the trail tune on it. Lifted suspension. And... Let's see. Uh, On-road average, off-road excellent, mud excellent. Wow, okay, so, so apparently these are just as good as the boggers everywhere except for like, well, yeah, but the boggers look cooler. So I may as well, I feel like I may as well switch to the boggers because they just look better. And I know that some people are going to be like, ah, but the other tires are better all around. Why would you switch with them? Function over form. Yes, but would you ever turn down a vehicle on boggers? I mean... 
I don't know. Maybe you would. Let me know in the comments below. Maybe you would. But let's see. I'm going to leave all of that alone. And just because we're here, I'm going to go with a different color this time. Eh. Might go with a blue, but like that blue looked a little odd. I actually kind of dig like the white, sort of a, like a whitish gray. All right, let's head to the rock crawling area and see what this thing's all about over there. Oh, come on. I'm trying to kick it, but it won't, it won't donut out of it. Some trucks will do kind of a donut out of the garage area, and it's always nice to find one that does. Ooh, I didn't test out the trailers, because I'm sure this thing can do. Oh, okay, yeah. Scout flatbed, scout fuel carrier, small scout flatbed. So it is, it would be effective for, you know, modified campaign playthroughs for sure. The only order of business I have right now is to not roll it over before we get to the rock crawling area, which some people may be like, eh, that's a tall order for Tomcat. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, that was right near the edge of the bridge. Dude, what? Look at that little slide. Oh my god, that was awesome. I don't know how we did that, but, like, we held, like, a perfect little slide. It wasn't, like, a crazy drift or anything, but it was, like, a progressive little slide around the entire sweeper. That is hilarious. The fact that this thing can even do that. Kicking the clutch. Bro, we didn't even have the lockers on. It just ran right up that. All right, low plus, diff, and all wheels. Uh, not quite. It wasn't too happy about that, but it eventually was willing to get up the rock. Okay, the game does not like you to go that way. It does not like it if you go that way. And it's like, it's weird. It's almost like they've made the rocks super slick to the point where it's like, oh, you're sideways on a rock? No, not allowed sliding off. So I don't know why they do that. I don't know the purpose of that, but I feel like it's just one of the realities of the new physics system that we have to deal with sometimes. So I'm going to throw a MK38 right here as a rescue rig. And we're going to go ahead and just flip this guy back over again because I don't want to go back to the garage and get another one. there because of the weird angle that we're coming from but that should fix it right up yep easy stop engine change truck back to the ranger and make sure we're i mean we didn't really have any damage i thought we would have but like that's actually really odd man even without the diff lock i mean and and just straight up in auto it scrambles over these rocks really well despite obviously the rocks not really wanting you to climb them it does pretty well. Actually, you know what? Here's a test for you. Easy. Ooh, it's not into that. I'm dragging the bumper. It is it is not it is not into that. Different angle of attack maybe because I'll I'll guarantee you it's not going up that way. Uh, it doesn't like that either. Put it in like low, low. It's still not too happy about... Oh, that's why. Because the axle is like... The axle is not in a happy place right now. I wonder if I can make it almost like slide over. There we go. Now let's see if we can get it to get out of here. That's That's going to be the big... Oh, I did not mean to do that. That's going to be the big one if I can get it to get out of here without falling in the massive hole on the left. Come on. Uh, you know what? Oh my god, come on. Man, she just does not want to do that. Oh no. Oh no. No 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 no. It's still not what mm, it is still not wanting to go that way, bro.
See if I can... Yep, a little bit of momentum helped. Oh, but because the rocks are so slick, it yeets me that direction. It's absolutely like, no, you're going that way, bud. Oh, they flock off. Thank you. I'm just going to send it through the rest of this. See if we can keep it on... Oh, God. See if we can keep it on all four wheels. Oh, oh, almost didn't. Oh, God. Oh, full send. This is total full send now. And it... Whoa! Dude! That was... Okay, like, that little move at the end, I'm actually really happy about that. It did really well. So... Honestly, I really enjoyed this truck, and if you're into trucks that are that are a lot more on the realistic side and offer realistic modifications and are definitely well suited to the environment of the game, I mean, this truck fits right into the environment of SnowRunner, especially with the other trucks kind of of this era. So if that's something you're interested in, then I'll have a link in the description box below to where you can check it out on the mod.io page. Um, thank you to Red for making it, and also thank you to you guys for watching the video and leaving your, your thoughts and opinions in the comments below if you enjoyed it please do leave it a like and if you're new around here hit that subscribe button click the notification bell and i'll see you guys next time